Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to use H32B Pro Relay Controller and work with your iPhone HomeKit so that you can use 32 channel relay and control by your Apple HomeKit Ok, let's look how to download the firmware for the ESP32 You can see here that we have the article that have many details The first step, you need to install the ESP32 USB driver You can download this driver, but you, if you Windows 10 or Windows 11 that have included the driver of the ESP32 third part so now you can just connect with this USB cable that is USB-C and connect with your computer then you can see in your computer device manage you will find this COM3 or COM4 or COM part uh, in any number you just uh, search device manager so you 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 can see here uh, this is my usb cable that have come through just come through okay the next you can log in by your h32 to be pro internet you can see here uh, that is your network setting of of h32 to be pro and make sure you have updated the firmware to the nearest and here you can see that have an option the ESP32 development mode we need to enable maybe before you have the disable the disabled the ESP32 will use uh, work as a Wi-Fi 80 command so that you will find this uh, Wi-Fi settings and if you have enabled this one the ESP32 module will work with the Apple HomeKit so this module can't be used by you directly so this time we have enabled this and you just click save so the bar will restart and after restart we need to prepare this ESP32 fresh download tool and this is home span just just the home kit firmware of H32B Pro so you can download this zip file and this zip file you can see here I have these two zip file, this zip file and this zip file. On zip you will find you will get this photo and on zip you will get this bin file. And now we can click uh, just open this download tool. Uh, that will be easy. So you can see here I can just click download the tool and open this window and this time chip type choose ESP32 and click OK and now you will see the default setting we have input the first step you need to choose the bin file the freeware file so you can see because in my computer I have saved this photo so you just click this this icon and choose this home span that bin file open and this you need to input uh, zero because that can write from the address zero and this need to check this box check box and now you can see the icon point com3 you can choose any way you have used the com port. and uh, here you can choose bandwidth I have choose this one and after you set the com port, you just click start and then you can see begin start to download and here you can see the logo output uh, from the ESP32 third part so you can see uh, this is finished have complete we can go on go on go on and this time now you can download this home kit toy this we have right this toy for config Wi-Fi and SSID and the password for your home span so you can see here download this toy uh, just uh, this one home kit toy and uh, this time you can also choose the com point com3 and press open and uh, press this button that is reset of the ESP32 because uh, after download you must repower on or press this button just reset 
And now you can see this is feedback. That is home span logo file output. So you can see that many message. You can see home span bridge is ready. But your Wi-Fi have not no date. So you need to press W to configure Wi-Fi. That also is very easy. So you can see we just go on and you can see this window. You just just uh, uh, type W. But we have seen uh, we have created this button, so you just uh, click set Wi-Fi and now begin scan the Wi-Fi for the network. Just wait for a moment. You can see that is list the Wi-Fi SSID. This is we have used the King Kony, the number two. You need to choose your own SSID. So this is number two. I just press two and send. And now you can input your Wi-Fi password. This is my password. A one two three four five six seven eight. Okay, press send. Okay, now just wait for a moment. We can see we go on. Now you can see uh, this LD, this red LD is on. That means the Wi-Fi have connect successfully. Uh, the H32B Pro, ESP32 have connect with your load successfully. So this will be on. Okay, let's go on. And now you can see this is a home kit toy that should device not paired. And this is the last one. We need to use my Apple home kit uh, to add this device on my iPhone. So you can see I just do as this step. You can see here I can add accessory and this time you can see I can click more option and you can see that it detect the home span so you can click and press add anyway and this is set up code the code is fixed I just use this code for six six three seven seven two six and press continue now you can see the old switch have listed uh, we can just uh, not set the location now you can see you can see here that is 32 channel uh, this is 32 channel you can see now I can press this button the relay one is on and press again the relay one is off so now you can see you can use this H32B Pro controller and on your iPhone and also you can use the Siri so you can see here I can turn on switch one okay the switch one is on so if you have iPhone and iPad and Apple Watch so you can use the Siri turn off switch one the switch one is off. Uh, so you can see the switch one is on and off. So you can see I can turn on switch two, three, four, five. So you can use your Apple HomeKit or Control by every different channel. And this time you can see uh, this LD, that the red LD and the green LD all is on because after you compare it with your Apple HomeKit, you can see as uh, the LD green one that will be on. So that have add all switch to your iPhone. So that will be on. And the red is for the Wi-Fi configuration. Okay, this is how to config and download the firmware to H32B Pro and use by your Apple HomeKit. Thanks for watching.